What is going on YouTube? This is Owen Dowell here and today I am going to be doing, would you believe it, a new Zippo video. Yeah, believe it or not, the guy who makes Zippo videos on YouTube is making a new Zippo video. What do you know? Um, yeah, it's been a very, very long time since I've done anything related to Zippos, hardly with the exception of the Zippo collection update uh, that I did the uh, last month. So, um, yeah, happy 2018. It's first uh, Zippo of 2018. And uh, without further ado, guys, I would like to go ahead and get into this. You'll also notice I've got a couple of things here. Um, these will be coming in handy in, at a later moment in this video. Um, but without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and let's check this out. So, this is the Zippo. It is obviously in the, still in the white sleeve. I put it back in here. As you can see by the sticker, this is model 301FB regular antique copper FLT BTM, which after a little bit of thinking about means flat bottom. Let's go ahead and let's check it out. So here's the box. You can see it does have, uh, it's a standard Zippo box, but some things that Zippo likes to do is they like to put these stickers on here to commemorate that it is a special type of lighter rather than just giving it an entire box dedicated to itself. They just throw a sticker on it. And as you can see, this is Zippo antique copper. And there's the same model right there, the uh, regular antique copper flat bottom. So let's go ahead and let's check this thing out. Ta -da! There it is, as you can see. This is the Zippo antique copper. This is my first antique Zippo that I've gotten. All right. And uh, if you've seen my Zippo collection update all the way through, I actually did show this Zippo in it. I took the sticker off in that video too, so there's no sticker on the back. So I've already opened it and everything, and here it is. Basically, this is a copper. Unfortunately, I have discovered through uh, one of you guys actually, this is a copper plated Zippo. This is not actually fully copper, but... I still really do like it. It is still a really, really neat Zippo. It's neat to see Zippo coming back with a copper uh, style Zippo. Even if it isn't a solid copper Zippo, it's really neat to be seeing Zippo making another uh, Zippo that features copper. So there it is. You can see there's the insert. The insert is in fact a steel insert. It is not a copper plated insert like I was expecting. It's actually a steel insert. And I think part of that is because this isn't actually a solid copper Zippo. So if they made if this was actually a solid copper case, they would have had made this a, uh, a copper plated insert just to kind of go with the theme. Back in 2003, Zippo did make some uh, solidly coppered Zippos that had pure copper casing in a copper plated insert. Actually, those could have actually been uh, fully copper inserts because I think sheet copper is more durable than like brass, than like sheet brass. I don't know. That'd be interesting to find out. I'd like to get a hold of one of those one day. Um, but there you go. This is what we've got right now in 2017 or 2018 now, but this came out in 2017. We have got a plated copper Zippo. And if you take a look at the inside, which obviously is not going to show up very well right now, which is kind of annoying. Well, there you go. Let me, oh, I don't want to touch the screen because then I got to manually focus it. Um, but I thought in the lid, it looked like it was pretty solidly copper. You can kind of see there, but if you take the insert out and you look at the inside, <clears throat> let's see if this shows up. That's probably not going to show up. Well, it kind of does. You can actually see I scratch. There's a little scratch in there. I was taking like a sharp object, trying to scratch away at the inside of this thing to see if it was pure copper. But then I uh, decided to take a look to the left. And let me see. I'll just take one of the lights. There you go. If you take a look right there on the left of the Zippo, there is in fact a little bit of brass exposed. So this is in fact a copper plated Zippo, not a solid copper Zippo. So just want to make sure I pointed that out because I personally did think that Zippo was going back to making these out of copper, um, but nope, they're not. I don't know why I thought that because copper is expensive these days. So but for some reason, that's what I was thinking. But anyway, let's go ahead and let's take a look at the bottom stamp. There it is. You can see E of 17, E stands for May, and the 17 stands for the year that this was made, which was 2017, so last year, which is kind of odd to think about now because 2017 was last year. Um, and if we take a look at the insert, which is really tight in there, and I really like that about it, 
The insert was made in I of 17. Now that, I'm sorry, that's not an I, that's an E. This expert, this one actually has a matching uh, insert with the case, which is very nice. It's very nice to see that. You don't always see that with Zippos, but it is kind of nice to see it here. And uh, yeah, I actually think that this is going to become my next user Zippo. I think I'm going to give that little black mat that uh, Aaron Brandon One gave me just a little bit of a break. I've been using that one for a very, very long time, but it'd be kind of nice to switch things up. Uh, I do like using that one because it was given to me by one of you guys, but it'd be kind of neat to switch it up, get a little something different going on. So let's go ahead and let's fill this for the first time and light it for the first time. And then we will take a look at this Zippo and what the heck this pocket watch is all about. Um, so I cannot seem to get this to come up because with brand new Zippos, it is so hard to pull the flint up, to pull the felt pad up. Um, that's always a struggle. All right, let's see if I can't use this paper clip here to, uh, dig it out. I don't want to have to unfold it. There we go. Thank you, Mr. Paperclip. Let's go ahead and do, what I like to do when I'm filling Zippos is I'll pull this up. You'll notice I've got this upside down in the case. I'll pull the felt pad up and then I'll actually lock it in the upright position using the lid. See that? And so let's go ahead and let's get the, uh, the Zippo Fluid. This is a new Zippo Fluid, but I kind of figured out how to open it with my nails, which I guess need to be cut, <laughs> but whatever. Then you go ahead and you take this and you pour it in. So let's just pour it in for about five seconds. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, stop. Wait about five seconds. One, two, three, four, Five. We're doing that to let the fluid kind of seep in and go down to the bottom of the lighter. Let's do that again. Put it in five more seconds worth. One, two, three, four, five. Stop. Wait another five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And actually, looking at this, we have a pool of lighter fluid. I just noticed. So I'm not going to do a third one. Normally I do a third one, but in this particular case, I think we have more than sufficiently filled it. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, since it's kind of seeped itself in there, is I'm going to go and <clears throat> let the lid, let that back down, tap that back down into place. And I'm just going to take this out carefully because it is very full. And we do have a little bit pulled up in there. You can't really see it, but it is kind of pulled up in the bottom. Put this back. Lock that back down, and uh, we're going to go and put this away. All right, we don't want that anywhere near this. And let's give it the first light. So go ahead and make sure this is good and clean. Open it, and boom. Oh. Woo. Wow. That was quite a bit dramatic. Let's try that again. Maybe this time it won't be so dang. Actually, looking at this, this thing is kind of... Okay, so here's another little tip for you guys. Wow. Um, if you ever fill your Zippo and you feel like it is overfilled, um, what the best thing to do is, is to let it sit upright like this for overnight. Because um, overnight, enough fluid will evaporate to where it will be safe to put in your pocket. If your Zippo is uh, overflowing like this one is, this one, you can't really see it. But as I rub, especially as I rub the, uh, like the bottom side here, you see that? Here, watch. My hand's dry. And there you go. So, this thing is obviously, like, luckily it is, as you can see, like, about 10 o'clock at night. So I'm not, I don't, I'm not, I won't be putting this in my pocket anytime soon. But, um, what the best thing to do would be to just let it sit like that, you know, while you sleep. Um, and it, uh, by the morning it will be pretty much good to go. So, let me see. If I just go... Lighter fluid does dry up pretty quickly, so let's just, uh... There it is. First light. We had a little bit of an incident there, but no worries. Just gotta be careful with it. There we go, that's gonna be my new user. So, what the heck are these two things here for? This old school Zippo and this pocket watch. Well, 
a long time ago, uh, in fact it was about 2016 when I did this, I made a new Zippo video, and in that video I had had this one as my new Zippos. I bought this one at uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works, it's kind of like new old stock, and this is what it looks like. Um, this is what I thought was a copper slim, but as it turns out, Zippo never made a copper slim. This is actually a rose gold plated slim, which is very interesting. I didn't even know Zippo did anything with rose gold in the past. So I really just, I still have the, uh, the chrome uh, insert in here. I wanted to show you guys what the copper looks like up to the rose gold. Just to, see if, just to see if I can maybe defend myself in thinking that this is a copper Zippo versus this. And as you can see, there they are. I'm getting lighter fluid on me again. This thing is quite a bit full. <laughs> um, there it is. I'm going to hold this this box up. A little, little trick for you guys. I'm going to hold this box up to catch the reflection. This white box so you can kind of get an idea of what the... Uh, shade is there. I learned this is a little tri trick I learned in studio class. You can see they are pretty similar. Now in person this one does look a little bit more like brass that, compared to the copper but as you can see I mean they do look pretty similar. Alright so let's go ahead and put this away. And the watch is here because the watch is actually a rose gold watch and I wanted to uh, compare it to this so here's a rose gold watch. Flip this around. That's a that's kind of a difference. That is kind of a difference, as you can see. I don't really want to get lighter fluid all over it. But yeah, that that is kind of a difference. You can kind of see what the white what the uh, the white box is doing. It's just kind of filling in the dark shadow a little bit. There you go. That's a good look right there. So I don't really want that on the table. don't really want to get lighter fluid all over the table. Oh gosh, now I don't know what to do with this. I'll just set it up right like that. So yeah guys, um, that's pretty much going to do it for this video. I wanted to show you guys what the, uh, the, the Zippo and I wanted to compare it to the, uh, the, rose, the, the rose gold uh, plated Zippo and an actual rose gold thing just to show you guys any similarities. Now you can see the rose gold Zippo versus the copper Zippo. While they are different when they're put together, when they're you know put together like that, they uh, you know they do look pretty similar, especially when they're separated. So that's kind of why I thought I was buying a copper Zippo when I bought this one. When in fact I wasn't. But anyways, guys, I do believe that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so so very much for watching. I'm just gonna go ahead and let this thing dry out a little bit. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and let this thing dry out a little bit before I go ahead and put it in my pocket tomorrow. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so, so very much for watching. And adios. And uh, make sure you don't overfill your Zippo. <laughs> so I had shot that last video, part of the video at about like eh, maybe quarter till 10. And it is now 11.13 at night. And you can see after this lighter has been sitting just like this. Um, if I, sh if I shake it a little bit, we'll get a little bit of leaking out, but no, not really. Um, this thing is already pretty much good to go. No explosions or big, uh, fireballs this time. So that's exciting. Um, yeah. All you gotta do next time that happens to you is just let your lighter sit for about an hour, just like that. Or, or let it sit overnight if you want to be safe. Because all the excess, uh, evaporates out really, really quickly. And there you go. Thank you so much for watching, and adios. For real this time.